Hi there, thanks for visiting me here at Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Katrina, and I'll read what she said. After three dates, a guy I was seeing blocked me. A week later, he wants back. He apologized that he blocked me, but felt we were moving way too fast. Will he do it again, and should I trust him? Well, this is actually a pretty good question because this blocking stuff is happening constantly now. I get more people writing me about this and, and calling me um, in my coaching sessions asking what's going on. If they're not ghosting, they're blocking. Like there's so much of this happening. And part of the, the big reason for that is if people change their mind, they don't want to discuss it. They take the coward's way out and just block somebody. So my first thing would be, he was honest with you a week later and told you what he was feeling. He felt like everything was moving too fast and maybe it was. I mean, that's up to you to keep the pace too. So your gut really needs to be in charge here. Whatever you're thinking and feeling inward and what is sort of yelling at you internally, this isn't really a yes or no answer because I like the fact that the guy owned his stuff because the only way that you evolve in life and move on is when you own things you did wrong, you apologize for them, and you try to make it better. You don't repeat it in the past. It doesn't become a behavioral pattern that causes problems for you or for other people. So I like the fact that he did apologize. My thing though here that I have a bit of a problem with is that he blocked you. Why couldn't he have communicated to you that it was moving too fast? Sometimes guys freak themselves out. It's so good, it feels so great. Everything, the connection is flowing like unbelievable. So people jump in, and I'm sure you jumped in too. So what happens, sometimes we stand back and we go, what am I doing? Why am I jumping like this? Why am I going full tilt into this person I don't know? Freak ourselves out and run away. I've had this happen to me in my past, so I know what it feels like. It's not a nice feeling. But the fact that he came back a week later and he was honest with you about why he did it leads me to think that he's a pretty decent guy, but he might have a few communication problems. And this is a big thing if you're going to commit yourself in a partnership with anyone. You need to be able to talk to each other. You can't run away when things aren't working in your favor or in any situation. Running away, not talking about it, is not the answer. Now, can this guy change this up within himself and learn to communicate rather than run away? He might be able to. It's new. You guys don't know each other that well. So, if you're asking, should you forgive him? Totally up to you, but I think the guy seems like he's a pretty decent person, and it's not a bad idea to maybe see him, talk to him, have some of your own boundaries when you go back in. I don't know if you were physically connected with him, sexually or intimate with him at all. If you were during those three dates, maybe that's something you want to think about curtailing for a while till you feel you can trust him again. Because we all know what happens if you have that powerful sexual chemistry with someone it makes you do and act in different ways you might not always want to. And it also pulls at your heart strings. So I would think about all these things I'm talking to you about. Listen to your gut. What is it telling you? What is this strong feeling? Was there anything on those first three dates that were red flags? Really be honest with yourself. Now that you've had this week to sit back and think about it, were there things that maybe you were a little bit guarded about with him that you noticed? Maybe something about his character? Look at all those things, put it all down in your head and figure out, okay, is this guy worth another chance? And I think you'll get your answer there. Forgiveness is a, is a wonderful thing, but not at the expense of you being hurt over and over again. So respect yourself first, always. If you feel this guy is really honest and was just being a coward and running away and he wants to give it another shot. He did it a week later so it's not like he's coming back a year after dating a whole bunch of other people. He obviously gave it some thought. You give it some thought. 
and maybe just go back, have a couple of dates with them, see what, where things go and if it's salvageable. It's worth a shot, I think, but again, it's up to you. I don't know what happened in those first three dates, so that's something you have to put in into your decision. Think about all of those things that went on during those first three dates. And it's a windstorm here right now. <laughs> anyway, think about all that. Thanks so much for writing, Katrina. I really appreciate hearing from you. Let me know what happens and, and how things turn out. Hey, this could be your, your future partner. Who knows? Thanks again. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue. Thank you.